Let's take a look and see how we can find midpoint of two points. We can start with the real number line, which might be easier for you to see. So let's say I'm at negative 3 and 1. What do you think midpoint is for the line segment connecting negative 3 to 1? The point exactly halfway between, that's what the midpoint really means, would be right there, wouldn't it? So that would be negative 1. Well, how do you compute it arithmetically? So it would be negative 3 plus 1 over 2 which is negative 2 over 2 or negative 1. It's like taking average, right? Because you want half the distance. That's why the 2 is in the bottom. Half the distance between those two points. All right, so what if I give you a point A here and a point B there? What do you think will be the average? Well, or midpoint, it will be right there. You take the two, add them together, half of that. So midpoint formula for uh, two real numbers a and b on a number line is given by a plus b over 2. So of course now we want to know how can we find midpoint of a line segment in the Cartesian plane. So here we go. We have let's say example 6, 2 and 10, 12. Okay, let's connect that line segment. I want exactly halfway between the point here somewhere. How do I find this point? Well I know here's my x-axis, here's my co coordinate 6 and here's my 10. On the x-axis, halfway between 6 and 10 would be add the 2 together, divide by 2, which you can see here will be at 8. Well, let's go over here and go sideways. So here's my y-coordinate of 2, y-coordinate of 12. Again, this is a number line, so same principle should work, right? Add the 2, divide by 2, giving me 7. So what do you think is the coordinate of the midpoint? It will be 8, 7. So you can see how things translate from one dimension to two dimensions. What do you think will happen if you have three dimensions and two points in three-dimensional space and you wanted a midpoint of the line segment connecting these two points? Well, you would just have to add a third z-coordinate and again take average of the two. Right, so midpoint is take the x coordinates, divide by two, take the y coordinates, divide by two. In three-dimensional, you just add another component of z coordinate. So in general, if you're given two points, x1, y1, this is my first point, x2, y2, second point, to find a point that lies exactly halfway between them on the line segment connecting them would be given by this. Take the two x coordinates, their average, take the two y coordinates, their average. Let's see if you can expand your ideas of midpoint to three-dimensional space. So go ahead and find midpoint of these two points. So pause the video here, see if you can visualize first of all in space where they are, and then also find the midpoint of the line segment that connects A, which is 2, comma, 5, comma, 4, and B, which is negative 4, comma, 3, comma, negative 2. Let's see what you can do. All right, let's see how we can plot it. We have 2 on the x-axis, 5 on the y-axis, and 4 for the z-axis. So our point A will be here. You can see how we have 4 up. We are 2 to the front and 5 to the side. Our point B, which is negative 4, 3, negative 2, so that will be negative 4 will be back here, 3 this way, and then 2 down. We should connect that segment AB and then plot the midpoint. How do we get the midpoint? First of all, you see how there are little dotted line here? The dotted segment here means it's going behind and down underneath the xy plane. All right, so anyway, so midpoint will then be what? The x-coordinates are 2 and negative 4, so the midpoint x-coordinate will be negative 2 over 2 or negative 1. And then 5 plus 3, 8. 8 over 2 will be 4 for the y-coordinate. And then 4 plus negative 2 is 2. 2 over 2 is 1, so that will be our midpoint. And so if you turn it, you can see from all the different sides how it looks. So again, the midpoint was exactly how we did it before. 
midpoint of each of the x, y, and z coordinates. Nothing new. So finding midpoint, whether you're in one dimension, two dimensions, three dimensions, is identical. Sum of the x coordinates divided by 2, sum of y coordinates divided by 2, sum of z coordinates divided by 2 gave us the midpoint in three dimensions. See if you can find the midpoint then of a four-dimensional line segment that connects A and B that are that you see here. Go ahead, pause the video, see what you can do. Nothing new here, right? It's exactly the same thing. So again, just x coordinates, add together, divide by two y coordinates, add together, divide by two z coordinates add together, divide by 2, and then the fourth dimension coordinate, add together, divide by 2, and there's your midpoint. So you can do 4, 5, 6, any dimensional space, and you can find midpoint defined like this. In each coordinate is the average of the two coordinates. That's really what we've done here. All right, let's work on cultivating growth mindset. Find two points A and B whose midpoints are given to you here in one dimensions, two dimensions, and three dimensions. Then determine if your points are unique. Go ahead, pause the video here and see what you can do. You truly need to understand what midpoints are in order to be able to compute that. Assuming you've come back, let's take a look. Remember, midpoint is a point located exactly halfway between A and point B. So if I pick, say, negative 5 for my point A, which is 3 units to the left of negative 2, I just need to go 3 units to the right of negative 2 to get my second point, and so that will be 1, because 1 is 3 units away from negative 2. And you can always check it, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So if you are stuck, see if you can do the, other, the next two then. Pause and see. Pause the video here. Go ahead, try it on your own. Don't just sit there again. All right, what if I pick the point negative 4, 8? So negative 2 and negative 4, so that means I will go 2 units to the left, so now I need to go 2 units to the right, which will make it 0, 5, and 8. 8 will be 3 units up, so I need to go 3 units down, which will be 2. So looks like if we fix the point A, then B is fixed. But we can pick whatever point we want. So check negative 4 plus 0 divided by 2 will give me negative 2. 8 plus 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. And negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6 divided by negative, uh, by, divide by 2 is negative 3. So really, we are just creating two points equally spaced on both sides of the midpoint. And that really is what the definition of midpoint is. So do you think our answer is unique? No, of course not. Infinitely many points sit to the left and to the right of these points, like say negative 2. So I can say 8. Now I'm going 10 units to the right. So I need to go 10 units to the left. And you can do the same for the other ones. So this is what cultivating growth mindset is. Try working backwards. Instead of me asking you to find midpoint, I'm giving you the midpoint, and you figure out what those other two points are. That if you know a particular concept back and forth, then you truly have in-depth understanding of it.